Welcome to Florida Drone Supply, your number one source for the latest in drone technology. Today, we're taking a look at the all-new Matrice 300 RTK from DJI and what you need to know in order to get your N300 ready for its first flight. In this video, we'll be going step-by-step -step through the initial setup process and necessary firmware updates for the N300 RTK as well as the DJI Smart Controller Enterprise, the BS60 battery charging station and TB60 batteries, the Zenmuse H20T camera system, and RTK base station. Please note that it's important to make sure that all of your DJI devices are updated to the latest firmware before use. If you do plan on using an older version of firmware, it's important that all your devices share the same version of firmware in order to ensure that they will work together properly. Although, we recommend always keeping your equipment's firmware updated to the latest version. Now, let's get started. We'll begin by setting up the DJI Smart Controller Enterprise and updating its firmware to the latest version. It's important to start the process with setting up the Smart Controller first because we'll be using it later to activate and update the battery charging station and the TB60 batteries. Before starting any updates, we recommend charging your Smart Controller to 100%. Although the update process can be started so long as the controller's battery is charged to at least 50%. To power on the controller, press the power button twice, holding down the second press until the controller powers on. Follow the on-screen prompts through the initial setup process to activate your controller, connect to your Wi-Fi network, and log in to your DJI account. After activating the Smart Controller Enterprise and logging into your DJI account, go ahead and turn off the controller by pressing the power button twice and holding down the second press until the controller powers off. Then use either a Windows or Mac computer to download the DJI Assistant 2 for Matrice app from the DJI website and install the software. If you're using a Mac, it may alert you that the app cannot be opened because it's from an unidentified developer. If that happens, go to your security and privacy settings and click Open Anyway to install the app. Once installed, open the app. Then use the USB-A cable to connect the controller to your computer and then power on the controller. The DJI Assistant 2 for Matrice app should then recognize the controller. Select the Smart Controller Enterprise, and then, under the Firmware Update tab, find the latest update available and click Upgrade. The firmware update process will consist of three steps, download, transfer, and install. Be careful not to interrupt the update process while the firmware is updating. Once the update process is complete, you will have the latest firmware installed, and you can then disconnect the controller from your computer. After the controller's firmware is up to date, press Pilot on the main screen to start the DJI Pilot app. The Pilot app will automatically check for any new updates and prompt you to update if one is available. Once the DJI Pilot app is up to date, your smart controller will be ready to activate the BS60 battery charging station and your TB60 batteries. To activate the battery charging station, start by opening the case and removing the AC cable from the zipper compartment. Flip up the plastic piece covering the AC power input and plug in the AC cable. This plastic piece acts as a stopper, preventing you from closing the case while it's plugged in. This is to prevent overheating, so make sure to leave the case lid open while your batteries are charging. To activate and update the charging station, connect it to the smart controller using the USB cable and then power on the charging station by pressing the power button. Once powered on, open the Pilot app on the smart controller. It will prompt you to activate the charging station and will automatically check for any available updates. After activating and updating the charging station, you're ready to activate your TB60 batteries. Remove the rubber protectors and insert your batteries into the charging station. The Pilot app will then prompt you to activate them and automatically check for any new firmware updates. Note that the BS60 charging station can also be used to activate and charge WB37 batteries, also known as Crystal Sky batteries, which can be used to increase the battery life of the DJI Smart Controller Enterprise as well as power the RTK base station. Be sure to activate and update any WB37 batteries you plan to use as well. 
Also note that it is not recommended to use the BS60 charging station for battery transport. Once your charging station and batteries are activated and up to date, and you have two TB60 batteries that are fully charged, you're finally ready to start the process of updating the M300 itself. First, you'll want to set up the M300. Start by attaching the landing gear. Insert the landing gear, pull down the plastic collar, and then turn to tighten. Remove the M300 from its case and place it on a stable surface. Then remove the foam chocks holding the arms in place. Be sure to hang on to these because they're necessary for holding the arms in place while in storage. Unfold the arms while being careful not to damage the propeller blades. This can be tricky at first, and we recommend opening one arm at a time, starting with the front arms. Turn the props on the rear arms upwards to make room for the front arms to swing forward. Once all four arms are extended, pull down the plastic collars and then turn to tighten. Then unfold your props. Next, remove the rubber protectors from the M300's battery connections. Insert your TB60 batteries, and then turn the knob to secure the batteries in place. You'll then want to open the DJI Assistant 2 for Matrice app, and connect the M300 to your computer using the USB-C cable and the USB-C port on top of the M300. Once connected to your computer, power on the M300 by pressing the power button twice and holding the second press until the aircraft powers on. The DJI Assistant 2 for Matrice app should then recognize the M300. Select the M300 and click Start Activation to activate. Under the Firmware Update tab, find the latest update available and click Upgrade. The firmware update process will consist of three steps, download, transfer, and install. Be careful not to interrupt the update process while the firmware is updating. Once the update process is complete and you have the latest firmware installed, Go ahead and close the DJI Assistant 2 for Matrice app, power down the M300, and unplug the USB cable. You're now ready to update the firmware on the Zenmuse H20T. To update the firmware on the H20T, a computer will again be necessary, but the process is different than any of the previous steps so far in the M300 setup. It's important to follow the steps carefully because interrupting the firmware update process could potentially lead to your camera system no longer functioning. Note, the firmware update process is the same for both the H20 and H20T. Start by removing the micro SD card from the H20T and inserting it into the micro SD card reader on your computer. You'll then want to go to the Zenmuse H20 series page on the DJI website and click on Downloads. Scroll down to where it says Firmware and download the latest version. The firmware should be in the form of a .bin file. Take that .bin file and drag and drop it or copy and paste it directly on the root directory of the microSD card. Be sure to put it directly onto the root of the microSD card and not inside of any folders. Once the .bin file is finished transferring to the microSD card, eject it and insert it back into the microSD card slot on the H20T. Now, with your M300 powered off, Go ahead and attach the H20T to the payload mount. Double check to make sure your TB60 batteries still have a good charge, and then power on the M300. Once powered on, the M300 and H20T will detect the .bin file and will automatically begin the firmware update process if a new version is detected. The process will start as soon as the aircraft is powered on and is indicated by a distinct series of beeps. Remember, it's very important to not interrupt the update while the new firmware is being installed. At first, you will hear a series of eight slow beeps. It will then switch to a series of four faster beeps. At some point, the beeping may stop, but that does not mean the update is complete, so make sure not to power down the aircraft. You'll know the update is complete when the series of four beeps switches to a distinct rhythm of five beeps. At this point, it's safe to power down the aircraft. To confirm the firmware was updated successfully, remove the micro SD card from the H20T and insert it back into the card reader on your computer. Open the micro SD card and check for a text file confirming the update was successful. If successful, the H20T will now be up to date and ready to go. At this point, now that everything's up to date, your M300 should be ready to fly. 
but depending on your needs, you may also want to set up the RTK base station. RTK, or Real-Time Kinematics, provides high-precision navigation and positioning information for your flight. In this part of the video, we'll go over how to update the firmware on the RTK base station. This process is similar to the update process for the M300. Start by taking the RTK base station and inserting a WB37 battery. Make sure the battery is charged to at least 50% although we recommend charging it to 100% if possible. Then use the USB cable to connect the base station to your computer and power the unit on. Open the DJI Assistant 2 for Matrice app, select the RTK base station, and click Start Activation to activate. Under the Firmware Update tab, find the latest update available and click Upgrade. The firmware update process will consist of three steps download, transfer, and install. Be careful not to interrupt the update process while the firmware is updating. Once the update process is complete and you have the latest firmware installed, go ahead and close the DJI Assistant 2 for Matrice app. Power down the RTK base station and unplug the USB cable. Your RTK base station is now up to date and ready to use. The new Matrice 300 RTK from DJI offers the latest in drone technology. And here at Florida Drone Supply, it's our mission to help you get the most from that technology. Thanks for watching our video. We hope you found it helpful. Comment below if you have any questions or any suggestions for what you would like us to cover in future videos. And be sure to subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media for more tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest news from the world of drones. Florida Drone Supply, your number one source for the latest in drone technology.